are ready to go with championship high school Christian school basketball here from Watertown, Wisconsin. The teams are huddled at center court. The basketballs are being removed. We are ready to go and we are ready to have a, an opening prayer and possibly the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not sure that we're going to have it, but we'll wait and see and just keep it with you. And the introductions of the starting lineups in just one minute from now. Or probably a little bit less. Let's see if we can pick up a little bit on our field, Mike. First of all, for the teams today, the visiting team here today is the team from Commonwealth. And the home team will be the Anchorage Christian School Lions. And now we are waiting for one of our administrators like the intensity cool. gets greater. We'll give us a little talk Random and a prayer and we'll ball. tune you into him right now. We're looking for a great game. Do want to remind the coaches that by halftime of this game you need to get your all tournament ballots in. And then to the general crowd, remind you that immediately following the game we'll have an award ceremony. It will not be long, but I'm sure you all want to stay as the uh, various team awards and then individual player awards are given at that time. We really do appreciate the staff here at Maranatha, especially the athletic staff and the way that they've hosted this tournament. All of the students that have helped, I think that they've done an outstanding job. We'd like to uh, ask the one that really makes all that go, Mr. Wellner, who is the athletic director here at Maranatha, to lead us in prayer. Brother Wellner, we just do appreciate all you've done for us. Thank you. So here's our opening prayer by the athletic director of Maranatha Baptist Charter College, Mr. Wellner. Very, very nice gentleman, and we appreciate his hospitality as well. Let's all rise for prayer, please. Father, we thank you for the opportunity of hosting this tournament. Thank you, Lord, for each one of the teams that you've brought this way. We thank you for the Christian Day School movement and these young men that are preparing for your service in Christian schools today. And now, Lord, as they go to the basketball court, may they not forget that we're not here to lay up for ourselves treasures on earth, but to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust can't corrupt and where thieves can't break through and steal. So, Lord, may the lessons that are learned today and the attitudes demonstrate bring honor and glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May all be done for his honor, for his glory. Watch over and protect each one of the players. We pray, Father, that you would help each one of them to play to the very best of their ability. We would pray that the best team might win here this afternoon. Pray for our officials as they have many calls to make. Give them discernment and give us the proper attitude toward them as well. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, there you had the opening prayer from the athletic director here at Maranatha Baptist Bible College, and we are ready for the introduction of starting lineups in this championship basketball game here this afternoon. And thank you again to all of our listeners down at WGGM in Virginia and Chester and Richmond area. Here is the first player being introduced from your ball club. This is number five, Ray Currents. He will start at a guard position. Here is number 10. This is Brian Edmonds, excuse me, number four, Brian Edmonds. Also introduced the Mr. Elevator Man, as they call him here. There's only one player in this tournament that I can see jumps any higher than Larry, and that's Michael Payne of Arkansas. What a pleasure it was to watch him. And finally, here's Ricky Smith. As he is introduced, and the rest of the players for the Virginia basketball team huddle at center court. And here are the Anchorage Christian School Lions. First of all, for them, at a guard position. This is Alan Prevo, the son of Dr. Jerry Prevo, the pastor and the president of Anchorage Christian School. And the next player to be introduced is Ross Moore. He'll be wearing number 22. He will be at a forward position on the wing. Prevo, wearing number 20, will be a guard. And here's William Cunningham. And if the ACS Lions go on to win this tournament, Cunningham will certainly have to be in the running for MVP. 
as he has had 52 points in the tournament already. Here's John Laverty, and finally at center, big number 44, Chris Bussey, and he's got his work cut out for him as he goes against Ricky Smith here this afternoon. So the teams have been introduced. They're stripping the warm-ups. We are gathering at center court, and we're just about ready to go with this American Association of Christian Schools High School Basketball National Championship. And we're so glad to be here with you. And we're happy to have you here with us. Thank you so very much for joining us on this broadcast this afternoon, and especially to our friends in Alaska and down in the Chester, Richmond area of Virginia. All right. The officials now with a final word at the scorer's table. Coach Randy Dunton listening in along with Wayne Edmonds of Anchorage. And of course, of course Coach Alan Talant of the Virginia Ball Club. So from now on, we will refer to them for sake of brevity as Alaska and Virginia. National Championship Basketball ready to get underway. And Anchorage will be... And we, we may have had a change in the in the ruling. I think I heard something about Anchorage being the visitor. They had originally been listed as the home team, but we'll see how it goes on the scoreboard as we go. That is no big problem for us. We'll just pick it up that way. All right, Ricky Smith now to jump against Chris Bussey in the center. Baskets are being pointed out. The instructions are being given. Referee's hand is down. The ball is up. Bussey. Yeah, it tips the ball, but it's controlled by Virginia. Ray Currents with a basketball, and here come the Eagles of Commonwealth. Currents on the top of the key, over now on the right-hand side to Turner. Turner driving toward the baseline, puts up the jump shot off the glass, and in, and Virginia leads it through to nothing. Ray Cur uh, Turner, Larry Turner gives Virginia the lead. Here come the Lions, Prevo down to Laverty on the right-hand baseline off the wing. Laverty with the basketball. Back to William Cunningham on the right wing. Dribbles to the top of the key. Pass over to Prevo in the corner. Tipped out of bounds by Ricky Smith, and it'll remain with ACS of Anchorage, Alaska. William Cunningham will inbound the basketball for the Lions of Alaska. Cunningham looking for a little bit of help. Finally gets the basketball into Bussey. Back out to Prevo on the left-hand wing to Cunningham as he sets the play. William Cunningham will play the point. Ross Moore now inside. Laverty, turnaround jumper, way long. Tipped and followed by William Cunningham. And it's a two-to-two -two ball game. Well, you'll see Cunningham in there battling for the rebounds a lot. And that is not an unusual sight for those who are familiar with him up along the last way. This is Ray Currents now with the ball down to the left side. To Turner, his pass over to Turley. Saves it before it goes out of bounds in the far corner. Turley on the right-hand side. Long shot taken off the back of the rim and off the top of the backboard. Rebounded by Virginia. The shot was put up by Turner. And here it comes. Rebounded by Cunningham of Alaska. Here come the Lions. Cunningham over in the left side. Prevo from the baseline. Tipped away by Ricky Smith. And he tries to knock it out of bounds off one of the ACS Alaska players. But he hits Turley instead. And it will remain Alaska possession. William Cunningham now inside to Laverty. To the right of the key. To Prevo on the right side on the baseline. Back to Cunningham. Cunningham dribbling to the top of the key, looking for some help again. Over to Ross Moore on the left. Inside, Bussey wide open with a layup. Smith gets the tip, and Bussey puts it back in. Smith tipped it away as Bussey tried to put it up on a nice block, but Bussey followed, and it's a 4 to nothing or 4 to 2 Alaska lead. Virginia with the ball now to Turner at the baseline, off the glass, and in. Larry Turner has all four points, Virginia, and it's a 4 to 4 ball game. We expect this game to go right down to the wire. William Cunningham across the baseline now. Ray Currents just all over him. Pass to Ross Moore, and he loses it out of bounds. Virginia basketball. Inbound will come in from Brian Edmonds to Ray Currents. Same lineup still in the ball game. We've had no changes so far. Five minutes and 45 seconds remain in the first quarter. Here is Edmonds, pass across court to Currents, top of the free throw line. Currents driving the lane, tries to get it to Edmonds at the baseline. Pick set by Smith, Edmonds will take the shot and he'll hit it. Six to four, Virginia as a nice pick was set by Ricky Smith for Edmonds. Here's Cunningham now again on the point for ACS across the 10-second line. Got it again by Currents, over to Prevo in the corner. 
Laverty will take the shot from the top of the key off the back of the rim. Ricky Smith high in the air, tips it over to Currents. Virginia on the break down the court. Across the 10 second line is Currents. Over to Ricky Smith, takes the set shot, no good. Ross Moore in the rebound for Alaska. Here comes Moore on the dribble drive. Smith tries to get in and block the shot. Moore puts it off the glass too hard. Rebound by Edmonds, long pass down to Turley. He can't handle it out of bounds. And it's Alaska basketball. Ross Moore with a wide open breakaway. Ricky Smith right in his face. And Moore couldn't make the layup off the glass. Put it up a little bit hard. Smith might have gotten a hand on it. We didn't quite see that. Here's Prevo now to Laverty at the top of the key. To William Cunningham. Cunningham over to Prevo on the left wing. Laverty wants to take the shot. Decides not to from the top of the key. There's more to Cunningham on the right wing. Cunningham will take it from long way out downtown. Laverty tips it away and connects the rebound. Stole it away from Edmonds, and now Cunningham calling the play. He wants Laverty in low. Prevo will take the shot from the baseline. Good, six to six ball game. Alan Prevo ties up the score. Alaska six and Virginia six. National championship basketball from Watertown, Wisconsin, Christian High School's championship game. Edmonds now trying to force the ball inside. Can't hit Smith. Takes a little hook shot. No good. Currents on the rebound. Turnaround jumper. No good. Tipped away and controlled again by Edmonds of Virginia. Right into the hands of Laverty. And Alaska gets a steal as Edmonds tried to pass to Ricky Smith inside. Cunningham now with a basketball across the 10-second line. Pass down to Prevo. will take that sideline base shot again off the side of the, uh, the board. Cunningham down with a rebound, and he gets fouled, and they're going to get Ray Kurtz. So the first foul of the game goes against Ray. He gets called on a hold, and I admire the way the officials are letting these young men play basketball. They are not really calling it all that tight. So we score the foul on Kurtz, and Cunningham is at the line with the game. In a critical game like this, national championship, you got to let the kids play. You can't let the whistle control the basketball game unless it gets out of hand. It has not. It has been a very clean game so far. Here's Vinaldo Butler now for Anchorage reporting in for Alan Prevo as Cunningham makes good on the foul shot and it's a 7-6 Alaska lead. Cunningham at the line. Two dribbles. Shot is in the air. 8-6 Alaska. Full court press now being applied by Alaska. Turley over to Edmonds across the 10 second line to Turner. Inside, Edmonds, little layup over Bussey. Brian Edmonds ties the ball game eight to eight. Three minutes and 20 seconds remaining now in the quarters. Vinaldo Butler at the top of the key to Cunningham, almost out at midcourt. Now Butler on the left hand wing. Pass to Ross Moore. Cunningham now over on the right wing with a basketball to Bussey, top of the key, jump shot, good. Chris Bussey, 10 to 8 now, Alaska lead. Turley with a basketball to Currents. Down in the corner to the left side to Ricky Smith. Stolen away by Cunningham as Smith tried to hit Turner with a pass. Here comes Cunningham, coast to coast, jumper, no good. Tipped away, we got a foul call. It's going to go against Larry Turner. So that's a second team foul for Virginia. Anchorage Christian School has not committed the foul again, and here's our buddy, Sylvester Clay. And out comes Larry Turner. So Sylvester in the game for Virginia. The big guy without his t-shirt today. It looks even more awesome without it. Inbound pass comes to Bussy. Little jumper, no good. Currents on the rebound. Long pass down court to Edmonds. Bussy and Laverty are in his way. Edmonds puts up a shot, it'll go. Larry, Ed, uh, Brian Edmonds. What a drive right in between Bussy and Laverty. Well, what happened? Now they called a foul on Edmonds. I didn't see the foul being called. So let's scratch that, and it's still a 10 to 8 ACS lead. I'm sorry I missed the call by the officials. Anchorage Christian School taking the ball out of bounds now as Edmonds picks up a foul. That's a third team foul for Virginia. And Aldo Butler with a basketball for Alaska. Hands it off to William Cunningham. Currents on him. 10 to 8, Alaska leads it. Inside Laverty, off his hands and out of bounds. Virginia basketball, and it goes under the curtain and disappears. 
<laughs> and Ray Kurtz will have to go back into the stage area and retrieve the basketball. And a good move by Kurtz as he walks down the stairs instead of jumping off the stage just to make sure that he doesn't twist an ankle or something. And I like that. He's taking good care of himself. Kurtz now with a basketball on the inbound from Edmonds across the center line. Ross Moore on him. Cunningham guarding Edmonds. They've got Laverty on Ricky Smith. Sylvester Clay will take the shot. Short air ball rebounded by William Cunningham for Alaska. Clay just in the ball game, probably not quite warmed up yet, and a little short on that shot. Here's Ronaldo Butler now over to Ross Moore in the right-hand wing. To Chris Bussey, bounce pass into Laverty at the baseline. Back over to Moore. He'll try wants to take the shot, won't take it from the baseline. Bussey will throw one up, and Laverty gets the rebound. He gets fouled, I believe. Now three seconds called on Clay. So it's Alaska basketball into the bucket as Clay picks up the three-second violation. Sylvester, you can't camp out in the paint that long, my friend. All right, here's William Cunningham. Inbounding to Vinaldo Butler. He'll take the jump shot from 15 feet, in and out, and Laverty comes over the back, or Moore comes over the back of Ricky Smith, and he'll get the foul. So Anchorage, Alaska gets their first foul called against Ross Moore. Alaska now in the bonus situation foul-wise as five fouls have been committed by Virginia. Here's Brian Edmonds to Sylvester Clay. Loses the ball right into the hands of Bussey. And here comes Alaska with an opportunity to increase their lead to four or possibly three if there's a foul in a three-point play or five rather. Now we get another whistle in a violation. Let's see how this is going to go. Got a pushing foul against number 44, Chris Bussey, and Coach Randy Dutton wants a timeout for Anchorage, so we'll take a quick break for our station down at WGGM. We'll give you 30 seconds, and we'll be back in just one minute right after this. So we are back with you and ready to start the play here for the balance of this first quarter of action. Anchorage leads it. Alaska leads it, actually, 10 to 8. Inbounding the basketball. Edmonds to Turley. Cunningham all over Turley. Tips the ball away. Now we got a whistle. And evidently, a, well, it's a turnover to Alaska. There was no indication given as to what it was. Ball stolen now from Cunningham by Edmonds. Now we've got another whistle, and they're going to get William Cunningham as he reached in to try to get it back. Coach Randy Denton up off the bench talking to William Cunningham, and he doesn't like what's happened out there, but William picks up the foul. ACS now with their second foul for Alaska, and the ball will be inbounded by Ray Currents. Currents inside to Edmonds, just the other side of the timeline, across the timeline now to Turley because there were players around him and possibly bumping him, and you can hang on that rim to maintain your balance, but nothing is said by Coach Talant to speak of. Ricky Smith does draw the technical for hanging on the rim, and he was up there for at least a, a second and a half or almost two to maintain balance. William Cunningham at the line for Anchorage Christian School. So William is three for three from the line. He's got five points, and it's an 11-8 Alaska lead. Now Anchorage, Alaska will have the basketball at center at midcourt. Across from our camera position, Ross Moore will inbound to John Laverty. Laverty with the ball across the timeline, guarded closely by Currents, almost steals it away. Cunningham takes it back. Laverty on the far right side. Cunningham breaking toward the bucket. Big block in there by Ricky Smith on Cunningham's layup. And Smith takes down the rebound, and here comes Virginia. Turley, with a quick look up at the clock, tells him that they've got exactly 30 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Now over to Edmonds, and he loses it out of bounds. Alaska Vinaldo Butler. Butler now across the timeline, picked up by Edmonds. Now Edmonds back following Moore across court. Butler over to Laverty, down to 20 seconds now to Chris Bussey. He'll take the jump shot. Looks good, is. Bussey hits it. He's got six points, and it's 13 to 8 Alaska. Currents now down to Edmonds, drive to the baseline on the right-hand side, puts up the shot. Ricky Smith with a rebound, follows and puts it back in. Smith with his first two points, one second, and time runs out. 
as Ross Moore heaves a shot down the court for the Lions. So we are through one quarter of play. The score is Alaska 13 and Virginia 10. All right, Watertown, Wisconsin. And again, if you joined us a little bit late, this is the National Championship of Christian Schools, Commonwealth Christian School from Richmond, Virginia, and Anchorage Christian School from Anchorage, Alaska. Chuck Tozer on the broadcast. Thank you very much for joining us, especially to our friends down in the Chester, Richmond area, and, of course, up in Anchorage on KTV Radio. Moore will inbound to Laverty to start the second quarter of play. Over to Butler now, top of the right-hand side of the key to Laverty down on the baseline. Back to Chris Bussey. He's in the identical place he hit the shot before, but he doesn't put it up. Turley is on Bussey, a very unusual defensive position for Virginia as Turley is 5'11", Bussey 6'5". Butler now, Smith attempting the steal. Butler passes off to Cunningham. His shot no good, but we've got a whistle in the paint. And we're going to get a two-shot shooting foul. It's going to go against Virginia. And it's going to go against number 21, Larry Turner. So Turner picks up another foul. That's two unofficially as far as our records are concerned. And William Cunningham will step to the line for Anchorage Christian School of Alaska. Cunningham's first shot, good. Four for four for Cunningham from the line. Let's see if he can make it five for five. And he does, and it's a 15-10 Alaska lead. Turley now with a basketball for Virginia. Very intimidating team as they came out in their first game with a lot of stuffs and jams and really had the crowd going. They have not done that since. But they can really be intimidating out there in the court when they get those breakaway jams. Now Butler reaches up, tips the ball away from Turley, and it'll retain, uh, Virginia will retain possession. Great currents on the inbound pass, trying to hit Turner. He finally gets him now. Turner drives to the baseline, jump shot. And we've got a foul called on John Laverty of Anchorage as he caught Turner on the arm as he went up for the shot. So Laverty picks up the foul. That's his first personal. Long pass inside to Turley, almost uh, to the about 10 feet past the top of the key. Over on the right-hand side, now on the wing to Edmonds. Back to Turley on the right wing. Long shot from downtown from Turley. Grant hit it. Ricky Smith follows. Smith with a rebound and a little chip shot. And it's 15-12, Alaska. Seven minutes remaining now in the half. And Alda Butler to John Laverty on the right-hand corner. Laverty looking for some help. Dribbles a couple of times. Dishes off to Ross Moore in the upper right wing. Moore driving the key all the way to the bucket. Loses the ball out of bounds. And it was tipped out by... I believe it was Turner in there as he and Edmonds were both on Laverty. Uh, Moore, now out comes Laverty and Alan Frivo in. And Cunningham will inbound for Alaska. Alaska to Chris Bussey. Shot looks good and is. A little 15-footer from Chris Bussey and the big guy shows a great soft shooting touch here early in the game. He's got eight points. 17-12 Alaska lead. Six and a half minutes remaining in the half. Turner tries to turn around, put up the shot, and I believe there's going to be another foul call, this time on Cunningham. Yeah, there were a couple of uh, people on Turner, Prevo, Cunningham, Bussey. Cunningham got the foul as he evidently caught and hacked Turner across the arm as he tried to go up. As we mentioned, William Cunningham with 52 points in this game. You see him there, number 32. And if the Lions were to win today, he would have to be the MVP of this tournament. Turner shot rebounded by Bussey, tipped away by Curley, but it's going to be it's going to be Anchorage Christian School basketball under the bucket. Curley couldn't get it in time. Ross Moore inbounding now to Cunningham to Butler, and he'll bring it down and set the play for you again in Anchorage. If you're not familiar, when Butler's in there, he plays the point. Cunningham goes over to the wing. When Butler's out, Cunningham's on the point. Ross Moore, guided closely by Edmonds, into Bussey, top of the free throw line. Cunningham will take the little jump shot high in the air. Larry Turner for the rebound. Way up over the rim is Larry Turner. Turley now on the right-hand side. Wants to take the shot, can't get it away. Turner inside, his shot off the glass. Ross Moore high in the air for the rebound for Alaska. As Turner threw up uh, what would be a glass ball, I guess you want to call it, didn't hit the rim, just off the board. All the way across the top of the bucket. Here's Benalda Butler now. Down to Prevo on the right-hand 
side of the baseline into Cunningham. Cunningham shot up, no good, but there's another whistle. And they're pointing at Turley. Let's see if they got him. It is going to be Shane Turley who picks up the foul. That's the first personal for Shane Turley in the basketball game. And both teams now in the bonus situation. So Cunningham will be there if, well, of course, this is a two-shot shooting foul. Cunningham now with six consecutive free throws. He's got eight points for the ball game. Very balanced scoring for Virginia. Turner, Edmonds, and Smith all with four. Cunningham can't make his next one. And away with a rebound comes Larry Turner. Here's Turley now over to Currents on the left-hand wing. Currents driving into the key, puts the shot up off the rim, controlled by Edmonds on the rebound. Long pass out in front court to Turley. Turley now looking for a little bit of help inside. He'd like to hit Ricky Smith or Turner in there. They finally get it to Turner from Currents. Turner, a couple of dribbles, turn around, shot. They've got a foul called on Alaska, and I believe it's going to go against number 10, Vinaldo Butler. It does. So Butler picks up his first personal. And at the foul line for Virginia will be a Larry Turner. Turner, a couple dribbles. Three dribbles to be exact. His shot in the air and good. And he rattles down in. And Turner is now one for two from the line. He leads the team in scoring with five points. Turner again from the foul line. Shot up and good again. So it's a 18 to 14 Alaska lead. Here's William Cunningham right at the foul line. Flips the ball back between his legs to Bussy as he got caught. What? What a pass from Cunningham. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it was, it was brilliant. Now here's Ross Moore at the far top of the free throw line. Inside, Bussy. Turnaround jumper blocked by Kenny Smith. Butler gives a couple of pups, and he gets fouled, and it goes. Ronaldo Butler with a great body control on the shot. He pumped, he went up, he got fouled, and he flipped it back up and in. You saw that on your TV screen. That was beautiful by Ronaldo Butler. You've got to admire that even if you're a Virginia fan. Ronaldo Butler at the line now, looking for his third point, and he gets it from the free throw line. And increases the Alaska lead to 21 to 14. I'd like to remind you now that we'll stay with you for the pregame or the postgame show and the award ceremonies. So stick with us for the final awards. Edmonds on a long downtown shot. He hits it. Brian Edmonds. 21-16. Here's Alaska again with the ball. Butler spinning away from Currents to Prevo. His shot. Good. Alan Prevo hits it from about 16 feet on the baseline. A tough shot. Turley now quickly across the center line. Back to Turley from Currents. Over to Currents now. He'll take the jumper. Rebound tipped away back out to Turley. Turner will take the jump shot. He can't hit it in and out. Tipped up and in by Edmonds as he got in there with the Giants and went up high and tipped it in. Edmonds now with eight points in the game. Here's Vinaldo Butler again over to Prevo on the baseline. He'll take the shot from there again. Air ball right into the hands of Ricky Smith. Long pass down to Currents. Currents, reverse layup, good. And we've got a timeout call. As Prevo ran into the door down there on the other side. Let's see what, the, what they're going to do. They might want him to just lock the doors. Well, what's happening now? They're pointing down to, I guess they're just going to give the ball to Prevo. The shot is good by Virginia. So give Currents the credit for the shot there. Here comes Alaska and Alda Butler. Over to John Laverty on the right-hand wing. We're looking for some help again. High on the top of the key to Prevo. Prevo over to Butler as he circles around underneath the bucket. A little John Laverty now at the mid right wing. Looking inside to Bussy. Laverty will take the jumper and he'll hit it from about 19 or 20 feet. John Laverty with his first two points of the ball game, 25-20 Alaska. Three minutes remain in the half. 
Ricky Smith, long jumper, short air ball, rebounded by Edmonds. And it's going to be Alaska basketball as Edmonds either stepped or dribbled the ball on the baseline. Cunningham pass inside now to Prevo. They're not covering him. They've got Butler and, and Cunningham covered like a blanket between Currents and Edmonds. Here's Edmonds again on Butler. Over to Laverty in the right wing. Bussey inside with a little layup. Can't get it. Ricky Smith with a big block on Bussey's shot. And Turner comes down with a rebound. Smith now with three blocks in the basketball game. Turner in the paint. Shot up. Misses and three seconds called on Virginia. Well, a tough break for the Eagles of Commonwealth Christian School, but Alaska gets the ball back, and it's a good break for them. 25-20, Alaska leads it. This is the national championship from Watertown, Wisconsin for Christian schools nationwide. Laverty way back outside to Prevo now at the left-hand top of the key to Laverty. He's right where he hit the shot last time. Bussey will take it from the free throw line. Smith blocks it again and comes away with the rebound. Oh, Ricky Smith, what a job he's been doing on Chris Bussey. Shot taken and hit by Ray Currents as he charges into the key and puts up a little 12, 15 footer. And now we've got a foul called against big Sylvester Clay. Well, Sylvester does take up some room. <laughs> he uh, looks a lot like uh, John Meldrow of Anchorage Christian School, but very, very stockily built, and uh, he gets fouls called on him just because he takes up room, as Randy Dutton says. At any rate, here's William Cunningham at the foul line. His first shot is good. So Cunningham from the foul line now, seven for eight. Let's see if he can make it eight for nine. 26-22. Alaska leads it. Cunningham shot in the air and uh, off the back of the rim, taken by Larry Turner. On the rebound, here comes Virginia. Currents down under the baseline. Ricky Smith will take the shot from about 15 feet, followed by Currents. He cuts it as it balances on the front of the rim and then drops down, and Currents has eight points in the game. 26-24, Virginia's closed it up to within two. Here comes Alaska quickly. Minute and a half left in the, in the half. Butler runs into Clay, and Clay had the position, and Donaldo is going to pick up the foul. So Lester Clay with good position inside. Butler picks up foul number two, and Virginia will have the basketball with an opportunity to tie the ball game. Before we go in here for the half, we got just a little less than a minute and a half to go. Now we got a timeout, I believe, or do we just have a discussion between the officials? All right, now they're going to send Clay to the line. As you don't normally see that in a player control foul, the play is going to go to the foul line and he will have an opportunity to hit the one and one. He does on the first one. Lester Clay gets himself on the board and in the newspaper tomorrow, in the box scores, 26-25. Clay trying to tie the game right here. Can't do it. Rebound of John Laverty of Anchorage Christian School in Alaska. Now the Lions with a basketball. This is William Cunningham to Prevo. Back out to Cunningham. Alaska spreading out the Virginia defense. Laverty on the right-hand wing. Back out to Prevo now, top of the key. Let's see if they'll hold it for a final shot. Laverty almost takes it, but he's got Smith right in his face. Now he'll take it off the glass. Tipped up in the air and controlled by Cunningham of Alaska. Back outside now to Prevo. Now down to just a little bit less than one minute. Prevo dribbling to the right side, over to Laverty. Laverty looking longingly at the basket, won't take the shot though. Bussy fakes, drives down to the right-hand side. He'll take the shot off the glass and he'll hit it. Chris Bussy with 10 points, 28-25 Alaska. 40 seconds remain in the half. Currents now, Sylvester Clay loses the ball. Prevo up over his back trying to get it and a scramble for the basketball results in a foul call. Let's see how it's going to go. It's going to be on Virginia. Number 23, they say. Well, I don't see a 23. It must be Clay. 25, 24. So we're going to give it to Clay unofficially. So 
Sylvester draws the foul into the foul line, Alan Prevo for Alaska. Here comes Ron Hoffman now into the game to report in for William Cunningham. Cunningham has been having some problems. He has gone down hard the last two games and twisted both the ankle and the knee, and he's just not feeling all that well physically. Prevo's first foul shot off the front of the rim, way up for the board, as you can see it was Turner. And perhaps Virginia will have an opportunity for a final shot. If they want to take that much time, as frankly, I would think they'd want to put the ball up and try to get two shots here in the half. Let's see what they do. This is Turley dribbling over to the right, looking at the clock. That means they're going to hold it for the last shot. Down into the corner. Shot taken by Edmonds, followed by Turner, but it won't count as we had a whistle prior to the shot. Edmonds got fouled, driving to the bucket on the baseline. And they're going to get number 24. That's Ron Hoffman, who just entered the game for Alaska. As he fouled Edmonds going toward the hoop. So, excuse me, it was Currents that was fouled. Currents is at the foul line. Either that or the foul was away from the basketball. But regardless of how it went, how it went Ray Currents makes the foul shot. And it's 28-26. Next shot is in the air, and it's 28-27 as Currents scores again from the free throw line. Here's Hoffman to Bussey, five seconds, four to Prevo, two seconds, long shot down court off the glass, no good, and there's the end of the half. So we are through one half of play here at the Watertown, Wisconsin, at the Maranatha Baptist Bible College. This is the national championship of Christian schools. And the score after one half of play, Alaska 28 and it is Virginia 27. So we will take it back to you, Virginia, for two minutes right now. And we'll be back with you on WGGM Radio two minutes from right now.